Hey everyone, it's Michael here from GoodyReader.com and today I want to talk to you about phones and e ink. Two technologies that are normally not synonymous with each other, but there are a few companies out there that have made it their business model to do things with e ink and smartphones. For example, there's a company, the Ink Case Plus, that has made a dedicated e ink display that slides into a phone case and becomes an extension of your phone. They've made dedicated apps that you can use to interact with the e-ink display and other companies have done this sort of thing too like the pop slate uh, both of these companies have turned to crowdfunding platforms in order to raise the necessary funds in order to be able to make this a viable business unfortunately most of these things are only compatible with certain models of the iphone or android devices it's not compatible with all phones speaking of phones Yoda has developed two different phones, the Yoda phone first and second generation, where they actually had a physical e-ink screen grafted to the back of a phone. So you had the normal Android experience, full color on one side, and then you flip the phone over and it had an e-ink screen. The first generation Yoda phone, I did not think very highly of because it wasn't a touch screen. You had to interact with it with uh, specific buttons which was fairly lackluster this was addressed in the second generation Yoda phone which did have a touchscreen display there was only one phone that ever hit the market that had a single e-ink screen and this was the onyx ink phone released more than a few years ago this phone i thought very highly of very innovative but i think it was too far ahead of its time and onyx did not register the, the cellular bands that were able to make this phone work. The phone simply couldn't actually make phone calls. Given that we really haven't seen much innovation with e-ink phones in at least two years, I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think uh, is the situation? Do you think that e-ink and smartphones are viable? Would you like to see more companies develop secondary screens for phones, e.g. an e-ink screen on the back and a full Android color experience on the front? Or do you think cases with removable e-ink screens are the future? If you had to design an ultimate phone, what would you do? Drop a comment below for Goody Reader. My name is Michael.